to join the domestic partnership registry. Why is that important? Why, why do you think there's so many people here? Well, I think first of all, I think there's going to be a lot more today. And I think it's important because it sends a signal that Tampa is a progressive community, that it's a welcoming community, that we value everybody and their relationships, and that we want to make sure that irrespective of the type of relationship you're in, that that relationship is protected. And so in, in difficult circumstances like a spouse in a hospital, uh, that the folks who sign up today will get access to that spouse and will be able to be there for that spouse. And the couples that I spoke with said they're really happy about those rights, but they want more. Do they think that the city or the U.S. or the state should allow gay marriages? Do you think that's something that Tampa could do in the future? Well, it's not something that the city can do unilaterally. I mean, the city, this city, has done virtually everything that it can do within the purview of its charter. Uh, we have domestic partner benefits. We now have a domestic registry. That is really all as a city that we can do. The whole issue of marriage equality is a national issue has to be decided at the national or state level. It's not something that, as a mayor, that I can do unilaterally, uh, but I will do everything I can uh, within my purview uh, to make sure that everyone's treated equally. And, and to me, it's as much an economic development issue. I mean, we are stronger uh, when we are together. We are more competitive when we are recognized as a community uh, that's fair, that treats people fairly. And it helps me when I go out to recruit jobs and talk to corporations about moving here because they want to know that their employees, that they move here, are all going to be treated fairly, regardless of their station in life, or their ethnicity, or their gender, or their religion, or their orientation. And finally, if I could ask you about the flooding, uh -huh. um, what what can you tell us about Tampa? How is Tampa weathering this storm? Tampa's doing pretty well. I mean, we got pretty hit pretty hard. We continue to get hit pretty hard. There's going to be two days of this storm hanging out there. Uh, there's been a lot of localized flooding on streets that typically flood. I mean, Bayshore has been closed. There's portions of South Tampa that, during big storm situations, normally flood. They are flooded now. Uh, there are trees down. We haven't heard much structural for flooding yet, uh, but we're monitoring it. Uh, we've got fire, police, public works on the job, um, and we're just staying on top of it and hoping that the storm continues to go north. Any major closings besides Bayshore? Is Davis Islands Bridge going to be closed again? Well, it, it depends on what happens. It depends on the tides. Uh, it was closed early this morning. Uh, it's reopened now. I came across it today. Uh, Bayshore is still closed. Um, you know, as the tides recede, um, it, that will probably be open up, but it depends on uh, the amount of rain that we get and the tidal flow. All right, thanks so much. You bet.